Hello and welcome to 7 days to die. In this video I'm going to answer a question I got from another video where I make this elevator. And the question is about how do I fill the pool up and he using block of water and he doesn't seem to fill up. Uh, and he also asked can you use, use this elevator to for a truck. No you cannot use for a truck. Uh, I haven't made any elevators so far in this game. You can use for cars or trucks or anything like that. There is a bicycle elevator. I have a video about that. But other than that, it's only for you and your friends. You can use the elevator. Uh, it doesn't even work on zombies. Um, you can do some other things with zombies, but maybe I will show that in another video. He also later on asked about about uh, how he make the draw bridge work on both sides. So let's get started with the video. As you can see, I made a normal draw bridge size hole here. You can see it fits perfectly. It's just so you know the size of this hole and you can see uh, right how deep it is. I'm only going to make it four blocks. You can uh, make it deeper if you want. It's principle is the same but this is video is going to be mostly about the water and I'm also going to connect a powered bridge in the end if you want to see that <clears throat> anyway so he is uh, using this water blocks uh, you can use in creative mode I guess I don't like to use those they make me confused and you cannot use them in the game anyway so what I recommend is you get a bucket and fill it with water. Uh, you can make this bucket and then you go close to the hole you want to fill and I'm going out of guard mode now. And you just drop the water here on the ground and you can see you get like four pieces of water. And you pick one up and you can see you still have two left. And then what you do is you go down and you start filling it up. And this will of course take some time. And then next time you, you can see now that you don't have any more. But so the, you, what you do is just pull it on the, again here. And you can fill it up and you can see you still have water. And you can do like this. And now I'm just doing it in guard mode. So it goes a little faster. I'm just going to destroy this. Um, because we don't want that. Oh, the water disappeared. If the water disappeared, you can pull one up here and do it again. It was because I did it wrong. But remember, every second time you do like this. You can also do it like this, but that is kind of weird. And then you just fill up from the bottom. And remember, this way you don't have to run far away to get some water. You can just do like and a good idea is not to have these uh, higher up here. You want to start from the bottom, like this. You throw it on the wall if you can. If I can find a spot. Oh, it's empty. That's why. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, and you slowly fill it up like this, you can see it's still a hole. And now you have the, like the first block here of water. And now the water disappeared, why did I make a mistake? Or is it because it's the desert? Uh, we take a new block of water, maybe... It will be a good idea if we do like. Ah, oh, I can do it in graded mode. Bucket. So we don't have to fill up. Maybe it's even a good idea to make an extra so this doesn't happen. You know. And then you just continue filling it up. And yeah, I know this takes some time. And try to... Uh, 
fill it a little higher. Now we have to make some tools now again. Another thing you can do is like this. You can go to the edge here. Try and fill it down like this. This goes faster. But it will take some time. But slowly it will fill up. Normally they don't, but it's a good idea to have an extra pool, like this just in case. And you can see now we're filling up here finally, starting to get somewhere. And sometimes you break the blocks, but just try again. It will eventually work. Continue doing this, just takes some time, of course. It's easier if you're a couple of people doing this. You can get somebody to help you, it will go much faster. But sadly, there's no faster way than this. And the you bigger the pool, the longer time, of course, this will, will take. So we always have extra. And now we're getting close to the second floor. And as you can see, there's like a hole in the middle. That is because the pool is so big. But just continue, it will close eventually. And if not, we have a trick I will show you. Just try and throw it as close as the hole you can. different ways ah. and see now it's perfect two blocks and let's see actually now you can be underwater if I'm not in guard mode because now it's two block deep and we can make it one more block because we made this four deep we can high we can make it three I don't think you can make it a four then you have to make it five high and again this takes time to start doing this. Sometimes you will break it, but if you continue, it eventually fill it up. And oh, I forgot. That was stupid. That's why you always have to make extra tools like this. 
so she will break it. Of course, you can use more brackets, but as you can see, you, if you do it right, you actually only need one. And you don't need to, if you have a flat ground like this, you don't really need to make an infinite pool. Just make sure you don't run out here. And now we're almost done, and now we have this hole again. And as you can see before, I could just continue, because this hold is um, not that big but if you have uh, like a big swimming pool then this can actually be a problem then you can do something like this you can build like a wall like this and then you can throw it on that and you can see that close the hole because you will have when you build it into where the hole is and you build it high, you don't destroy it, and it will fall down in the hole. <coughs> so that's how you can do that. Is that three bucks? So we are. Let's see how deep is this two. Oh, so that's two and a half block. Okay. So we can make it three and a half, I guess. So you can, as you can see, this is a lot of work to fill it up, and sadly, uh, this is the best way to do it. And yes, it takes time. There's nothing you can do about that. I I like doing this because this is fast. It doesn't help in the beginning, but when you have to, when you start filling up, I feel like it helps to do this first. And it goes fast. start to fill the edge up but you, you don't want to do that actually because then sometimes it's difficult in the middle but my experience at least I like to do it this way when it starts to fill up so this is how you can fill a pool up and yeah this is not so big but as I show you if you have a hole in the middle you can also you, you can do like this and you can also have some in the middle and remove them so you have some cast up if it's really big it is possible to fill even a really big pool up it's not easy and now I did it again <laughs> Uh, so be careful not to do that. Run out of water because I'm talking and not concentrating on what I'm doing. And now you can see it's you, because all the edge is filled up a uh, half block here. I cannot actually throw the I cannot throw the water anymore, but I still have a hole in the middle. So what we can do is just have something to throw it at. You need that and you can see it start fill up here and then over here. 
like this and now it's filled up as you can see and you can just remove these again and you have a pool that is filled up perfectly so this is how you can fill up a a swimming pool in the water uh, and a great trick is to use this to you have to throw the water one block higher than you want it to be filled up and if you want it to be filled here in the middle you can do it like this you don't destroy the water like that also uh, if you want to remove water you can use any blocks you want you can even use frame blocks um, here let's say we have some water lying around here it's messy then you just put flame blocks down like this and they will be removed and sometimes the water get higher but then you just put them on top of each other also if you build on the water you can remove water that's inside your base like this but i will show you that in another video how to build a base under water so um now i'm just going to show you how to make the bridge work on both side because he asked me that uh, uh, so we're going to oops, have a bridge Powered bridge. Uh, there we have a powered one. Turn it the right way. Yes, like that. And then just. Uh, he is asking about uh, a sensor. As I understand it, on both sides, how you get it to open from both sides. So what I do is, of course, I have a sensor on both sides here, and then you have some power. It can be battery later on. It can also be generators uh, with gas, with fuel you fill up. But this is just uh, a battery fill up. With a battery bank filled up with batteries and then you connect first you turn on uh, the battery and then you then you connect from the battery to the first sensor and you can see now it's activated you can go in and then I like to have a delay on one second and a power donation on five seconds and you want yourself and your friends you don't want it to open for zombies or strangers you want your allies and yourself to be able and you can remove the camera around so you don't want it to be active all over there you want it to be active when you're closer or whatever it fits you can always change that and then you connect this sensor over to the next one you want to work and you do the exactly the same one delayed five seconds if that's what you like you can change that and then you have changed it to where you want it to work like this for example and then you just connect from this one to the bridge and uh, let's go over here and you can see in, in when you go into the yellow area here it will detect you and it will work and you can go over the water here we just made and we go out here and oops we have to go out of the yellow and it closes and now when you go in this yellow it works from this side so you need two sensors for it to work on both sides and you need to connect them together before you connect the bridge and a good idea is to have the same time on both sensors. You, you don't have to have it the time I have. You can have it faster or slower or whatever fits you. It's just what I like. Um, but anyway, again, thanks to Eric Stanke for asking the question. I always like when 
people watch my video and ask questions I like to answer if I can so thank you for that and thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please like it and I will see you in the next one bye